she might be a totally dedicated homemaker or else she might be working also and if both then she has lot of responsibilities on her and literally no time to think of her health because she has to take care of health of his, her family so although in many countries it is mandatory that the women in this age group should be yearly screened for certain diseases but anyhow this preventive approach has to be taken care of in our country also preventive health checkups decreases the chances of developing diseases later on such as diabetes blood pressure and many female cancers too so how to proceed for this let us start with cbc now cbc gives you an idea about hemoglobin because that lady doesn't have time to take care of her food to take care of her she don't have any timely food her habits are different she is totally dedicated for her families now this creates a vicious cycle by which i mean she is losing interest she is having weakness but she is trying to do the work as sincerely as she was doing before and this creates a imbalance that can lead to irritation that produces psychological aspects so just to screen with a cbc get hemoglobin levels and if they are down they has to be supplemented with iron or vitamins whatever is deficient the next in the row is the most common thyroid as i also told earlier in my videos that thyroid is becoming a sort of so pronounced disease in indian society that reasons are to be explored what i am seeing ki approximately 1 to 2 of every 10 females are suffering from thyroid and what this thyroid does the hypothyroidism causes unnecessary increase of weight lethargy malaise weakness loss of interest in work and what this creates this creates a mess in the home so screening for thyroid should be must for all the females in 35 to 40 years of age group a lady in her 40s or 35 is totally living indoors i don't think any sun exposure is there so what this creates this creates a deficiency of vitamin d and vitamin d deficiency leads to decreased calcium decreased calcium will ultimately lead to osteoporosis at an earlier age than it was before which will lead to might lead to fractures so screening for vitamin d and vitamin b12 should be a must for all the females in 35 to 40 years of age group now blood glucose since the dietary habits the sleeping pattern and if at all she is working is almost disturbed that can lead to predisposition to diabetes so a simple blood sugar every 6 months or every year can give the clue whether she is in the non diabetic range or progressing towards diabetes now what all this creates this multiple in fact creates stress and anxiety which we cannot forego it is part and parcel of the life now this active and stressful lifestyle predisposes the lady to increase in the blood pressure hypertension which she might not be knowing because it's a graded slow process and whenever she reaches a doctor for some headache or some sort of thing the doctor says you are having hypertension now this can easily be avoided if a lady gets herself screen for hypertension every 6 months or once in a year at least what will happen it if at all any increase in blood pressure is there it can be controlled at a very early stage because of the faulty dietary habits of the indian society rather all over the world there is a what we are seeing there is a derangement in the lipid profile there is derangement in the cholesterol levels there is derangement in the triglyceride which should be a part of screening process at least once in a year apart from this a female should also get herself screened for pelvic diseases that's a cervical smear every cervical smear once in a 3 year after lipids kidney function test is the another test that has to be done because increase in uric acid or decrease in calcium both produce deleterious effects on the health this should also be supplemented with liver function test because what we are seeing now these days the sgpt and the sgot levels are on a rise in the 
society and that is because of the delayed food habits faulty food habits and saturated fats and foods like that so that should be the part of screening process and it is a must and finally the female in her 40s should get herself screened for pelvic diseases because you don't know whether infection is there or not so a cervical smear a pap smear is must in that age group thank you and if you have any queries please type us in the message box we will try to revert you as soon as possible thank you